Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Spellbinder's report. Now for something truly frightening and scary to know about from Health Freedom Alliance. This is the scary part about the FDA and Monsanto and their GE Altered Foods, especially corn with the BT bacterium. Ah, oh, this is scary. GE food alters our digestive systems, USDA, to deregulate. Submitted by Lois Rain, June 12, 2011. The idea of eating genetically modified food isn't disturbing enough. Another side effect from its consumption holds baffling and overwhelming implications. What if, because of the GM process, your intestines are actually serving as a factory to keep churning out BT toxins. It makes GM toxins sound more like a replicating parasite than anything else. Now the USDA wants to completely deregulate GM cotton and corn crops that are modified to be drought resistant. Below you can learn about USDA environmental assessments. Their comment period ends July 11. Follow the links below to easily send the USDA a message to keep tight restrictions. Banning is not one of their choices, but without continuation of current regulations, we stand to lose our non-GMO organic crops with contamination. This is very, very disturbing. Rats fed GM potatoes show proliferated cell growth in their digestive tract, stomach lining, and intestines before, after, before, after. GE organisms, organisms actually become part of the bacteria in our digestive tracts and reproduce continuously inside us, but the USDA now wants to remove all control from GE corn and cotton. There are no human clinical trials of genetically engineered foods. The only published human feeding experiment revealed that genetic material inserted in the GE soy transfers into the DNA of bacteria living inside our intestines and continues to function even after we stop eating the genetically modified foods. We may still have GE proteins produced continuously inside us. As the Institute for Responsible Technology has noted, the genetic engineering process creates massive collateral damage causing mutations in hundreds of thousands of locations throughout the plant's DNA. Natural genes can be deleted or permanently turned on or off and hundreds may change their behavior. Even the inserted gene can be damaged or rearranged and may create proteins that can trigger allergies and promote disease. The idea of having genetically engineered genes permanently living inside our gut has staggering implications. If the antibiotic gene inserted in the most GM crops were to transfer, it could create antibiotic resistant diseases. BT toxins, which is baculus uh, thermogenesis, inserted into GM food crops to kill pests are reaching the bloodstream of 93% of women and 80% of unborn babies because of the consumption of meat, milk, and eggs from livestock fed the GE corn. This could turn bacteria in our intestines into pesticide factories. Imagine dosage after doses of pesticide and it accumulates. Animal studies show that the DNA in food can travel into organs throughout the body, even into the fetus. And we've seen cross-species transfer of DNA happen before. A significant percentage of human DNA is actually viral DNA that became part of us over 40 million years ago. There is a concern that virtually transmitted DNA may cause mutations and psych psychiatric disorders such as schizophrenia and mood disorders. GE organisms may exhibit or exasperate the phenomena or this phenomena. Genetically engineered food genes transferring to our own genes could lead to problems like leaky gut syndrome. 
Our small intestines, which is responsible for about 70% of our immune system, behave like a selective sieve. It lets only nutrients and well-digested fat proteins and starches enter the bloodstream and keeps out large molecules and microbes and toxins. Leaky gut syndrome happens when the intestinal lining becomes inflamed and the microvella on the lining becomes damaged. This prevents the microvilla from absorbing nutrients and producing necessary enzymes and secretions for healthy digestion and absorption. In between cells are dysmosomas, which you can look that up, which keep the cells together forming a strong structure preventing large molecules from passing through. When an area becomes inflamed, the structure is weakened, allowing larger molecules to escape. This makes the immune system produce antibodies and cyclokinetics or cyclokinins to fight off moleculars because they are perceived as antigens. Allergies have already skyrocketed in the U.S. and with the introduction of GE soy in the U.K., soy-related allergies rose 50%. Yet federal agencies turned a blind eye to the danger of genetic engineering. In 1989, there was a tragic outbreak of eosinophilia myelogia syndrome EMS an incredibly painful disease the outbreak was traced to consumption of itropathin supplements produced by a Japanese company using genetically engineered bacteria the bacteria are used to increase yield but they increase impurities during the fermentation process possibly leading to a level of contaminants that cause the EMS to this day the government has refused to address the issue of purity standards for GE manufacturing manufactured products. Instead, the federal agency and the biotech companies claim that the contaminants leaked into the EMS tragedy were caused by changes in the company's manufacturing process, despite the fact that the company was precisely following the purity standards enforced by the government rules. The EMS was rare and had a fast enough onset that the cases histories of the patients could be linked to this supplement and it was also acute enough that doctors took notice. There is a very clear casual link between EMS and these genetically engineered organisms. Man. This is just, this is just bad. Do you not understand yet what they're doing? They're creating things that are so dangerous. It's as it says down here. GE corn is especially dangerous because it is for human consumption. As noted above, GE genes from foods can affect bacteria from our digestive system and can lead to allergies, disease, and even sterility. GMOs are causing terrible genetic changes in mammal offspring. Scientists are seeing birth defects, high infant mortality rates, and sterility in hamsters, rats, and livestock fed GMO soy and corn. And some hamster pups even began growing hair inside their mouths. I've seen the pictures. It's true. And uh, it's just not a pretty, pretty sight. I mean, these animals are just an example because their metabol metabolism is faster than ours, so the side effects show up faster in them. And if this is any, any symptom of what's to come, we are in big trouble. You know, they went up to the mountains uh, in Mexico looking for pure corn actually looking for pure strains of corn to add to the uh, food vault of certain varieties when they took them back and did experiments on the corn they found out it was already infected with GMO pollen and therefore the plant itself was infected people we cannot allow them to continue this this is wrong it's against nature and God and the universe they are playing God and they're going to kill us all if they don't stop playing this. Maybe that's the reason for the food vaults. Maybe this is the, the reason behind it. To kill us off while they keep the pure stuff and they continue eating pure food. The elitist and the ones in charge. The 200 or more families that are in on this. That have all the money and the power to do whatever they want. And have the bunkers to jump into. 
we don't know yet. It's anything from an asteroid impact to LNM to GMO now that threatens the human race. I mean, what more are they throwing at us? Well, that's all I have to say about that. I'm going to have the link to this at the bottom of the uh, video in the description. You can check on it yourself and you can find out that I think they're trying to kill us all without really trying and it's in greed too because they're trying to make money off of this by selling this grain that you can only get from Monsanto and pay a higher price than you would for uh, heirloom seeds. Until next time, be good or be good at it. This is Spellbinders Report on the mad, mad psychopaths, sociopaths that's running the planet. Good day.